More about Jean-Michel Basquiat Jean-Michel Basquiat was born on December 22, 1960, and grew up in Brooklyn, New York. His father was from Haiti, and his mother's family was from Puerto Rico. Living in a trilingual household, Jean-Michel spoke French, Spanish, and English. While his father had some artistic skill, it was Jean-Michel's mother, Mathilde, who drew with him and took him to museums. He particularly liked seeing the painting called Guernica by Pablo Picasso in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. It now hangs in the Museo Reina Sofia in Madrid, Spain. Some people think that Guernica shows the suffering of people and animals when warplanes bombed the village of Guernica, Spain, during the Spanish Civil War. It is one of the most famous anti-war paintings ever created, a form of activism through art, and a piece that shows the power of an artist's voice, which may have inspired young Jean-Michel. When he was about seven years old, Jean-Michel was hit by a car and badly injured. His mother gave him a copy of Grey's Anatomy, perhaps to help him understand what was happening inside his body as he recovered. This medical textbook became an important influence in his later work. That same year, Matilde began suffering from mental health issues and eventually left the family home, a difficult loss of an important daily role model for Jean-Michel. As he grew older, though, he visited his mother and showed her his artwork, which helped maintain their relationship. At age 17, Jean-Michel moved away from home. He sold postcards and t-shirts of his own designs to support himself, and he used whatever he could find as a canvas. His first recognized work was a graffiti series, created with his friend Al Diaz starting in 1977, tagged with the name Samo. The traditional art world was looking for something new, modern, and connected to street culture, and Basquiat arrived at the perfect time. His first public exhibition was in the Times Square show in 1980, and his first solo show was in Italy in 1981, the year he sold his first painting, which would be followed by many others. He also met and became friends with other famous artists of the time period, like Andy Warhol and Keith Haring. Basquiat lived an exhilarating life, But underneath the excitement of his success, he struggled with a drug addiction until his death on August 12, 1988, when he was only 27 years old. His paintings now sell for millions of dollars and are collected and displayed in museums all over the world, such as the Whitney Museum of American Art and the Brooklyn Museum.